Rev up those fryers. It's time to have a terrible day. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between that, and welcome on into a horrible new controversy. This is really bad, and it all revolves around one of the Mr. Beast buddies, Ava. Dang, bro, we was... We was really about to watch some scary YouTube videos, and I was like, "All right, time for drama." Now we're now we're here two hours into stream after dealing with a whole political discussion. Now we're here. I'm not gonna lie, this is a diabolically horrible fit. No, 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 Goofy, oh, I don't want to hear it. Okay, buddy, you were talking about repping the Fred Durst. Okay, uh, 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 uh. You got fashion sense now, but for that, okay. <laughs> You've been minus one hundred aura for the night, dude. Yep. It'll come back tomorrow. Okay, it'll respawn. Also, shout out re you frown for the the lurk. Love that dude. Love him. Mm -hmm. There you go. You frown. Sorry, didn't mean to get sussy there. Oh, by the way, any YouTube frogs that are watching this after the fact, if you want to check out the original video, it'll be the first link in the description. Also, this dude is a G. Um, he's covered a lot of different topics. We've watched one of his videos before. He's a real one. Go check him out. Also, Twitch chat. If you guys are wondering what why I'm doing a cringe YouTube intro, check out the YouTube channel. Also. Uh, again, YouTube Frogs, if you do enjoy your stay, feel free to drop a like and a sub, and also come check out the Twitch stream, first link in the description. All right, let's tap it, baby. Chris Tyson. This is a really, really rough situation that I honestly didn't even want to talk about because I already Aww. know the comment section is going to be the rankest in place to be. It, probably, I would prefer to be dropped in the center of the Amazon rainforest like a Mr. Beast video, but <laughs> I received a video recommendation from Sammy in my video ideas channel on my oh. Discord from the YouTuber Aedrox, and it's a video oh. exposing Ava Chris Tyson for some really 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 horrible things like i wasn't even going to look into this and then i just did a little semi deep dive i brushed over the surface like skin level and i saw some of the worst things a human being could say followed by some of the worst allegations a person could ever have it's Ooh. been a wild year for people getting exposed as pdf files and this is unfortunately looking like one of those dude i know this is kind of messed up to say right it's kind of messed up to say but all these people are getting exposed for all this like horrible stuff they've done it's time for some new blood in the industry, okay? It's 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 time for it's time for some new people in the industry, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yo, let's see who got it like that. Let's see let's see some new faces, you know? Cases. Although I can't say anything for sure so far. This is just allegations as well as some pretty damning tweets. But what I wanted to do with this video is essentially just condense down all of the information and leaks that have been going on surrounding Ava online, starting with some of the lesser things. And I'm I'm saying lesser very lightly. These things are all horrible. And then going down the rabbit hole, eventually getting to some of the horrible things that uh -oh. involve. Just... Are we doing an iceberg right now? <laughs> Ava Tyson iceberg of most horrible things they've done supposedly allegedly 15 and 11 year olds but to start things <laughs> off i want to talk about ava tyson's bad, interactions with one of the oldest cryptids of the early internet that goes by the name of Shadman. many of you probably recognize that name but even more of you probably don't luckily because this guy is like voldemort he was a horrible <gasps> human being objectively he specialized in nsfw art but if i were to get more specific nsfw art ranging around children if you're picking up what I'm putting down, this guy sounds like the kind of guy you want to send to Mars without any oxygen. And <laughs> yo, yo, tell me a way to get 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 around uh, any uh, uh, TOS or whatever. I want to be in the industry. I just want the money, and then after I get the money, y'all can cancel me, and I can be rich and live in a random place by myself. Lol, dude, I just want to get like good enough money to watch out for other people you know i want to be able to be there for the homies and stuff you know not even if i'm like rich rich or whatever thank you by the way purple i appreciate you not even like rich rich like that just like enough that i can watch out for for the homies and support homies you know you know even if like one of my one of my homies bands bands drops and a song or something dude it'd just be cool to be able to like run up like I don't know, some sort of like little ad or something, do a little ad campaign for them, that kind of stuff, you know, or, um, you know, a homie needs like a car, like a, just a beater car, like just to be able to be like, yeah, dude, I got you covered. Yeah. Let's, let's go find one. Like, help, let's, let's find one on Facebook marketplace to get figured out, dude. You know, that kind of money. Lo and behold, who would have ever anticipated this? Shabman's been in a little bit of drama in the past. <laughs> no. Who would have expected that? No, there was a time that he drew Keemstar's very young daughter oh. getting down and dirty with the Donald, like the Trump one, which just makes me want to put that dude in a, like a diving bell and send what? him to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. There was another time what? that he drew Daphne Keen, I believe is her name, the younger. What kind of a freakazoid does that kind of stuff, bro?
What's up, horror gamer YT? Dude, I feel so horrible. Self Delise was like, like ju jumped in for a second, and then I did say what's up to them. I feel really bad, dude, because I was I was in here yapping. Chris went to Diddy parties. Yo, what? Call me a slur? What? Yo. A girl in Logan, the Wolverine movie, doing every explicit act under the sun. And there was even a tweet where he referred to her as a real-life lolly. Someone get baseball bats. I feel like there's no words to respond to that. Who would have ever thought? Oh, yeah, Purple. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate you. You're you're very kind. Also, yes, Sarah. I see why you like this, this, this YouTuber. That a guy like that would be arrested for assault with a deadly weapon. <laughs> Holy shit. He's collecting crimes like Infinity Stones. So what really got me scratching my noggin is how does a Mr. Beast team member, an official Mr. Beast team member, get wrapped up with one of the most disgusting and abhorrent individuals to ever grace the internet? Well, my dear ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between that, it all starts with a screenshot inside of a screenshot shot from an old Mr. Beast video that happened six years ago called Tipping Pizza Delivery Guys $10,000, in which there's this screenshot at the 9 minute and 30 second oh, mark. I'm covering his face. Pause. Yo, what? What did I just say? Oh, I, I'm covering the evidence, too. Gosh, darn it. You can see an interesting tapestry they did decide to decorate their wall with. They're all chilling in their apartment, and this is what? their apartment. This is actually an apartment that Ava and Mr. Beast lived in together, where that art is actually something that... Oh, is that the one that... Is that the apartment that got broken into? Ava has thanked Chapman for... What? <laughs> What do you tweet? How do you tweet? Bonus fidget spinners to really throw in some extra autism at Shad Base. This is information that Batman in Arkham Asylum could not interrogate out of me. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Miss Badass? Welcome back in, homie. Nah, Mr. Beast isn't getting canceled. Uh, Ava Tyson is, I guess. We're getting the scoop. We're like three minutes into this 15 minute video. I think there's even worse stuff than what we're seeing right now. They just hopping in on another stream for a while. I appreciate you. Is that Ninja? <laughs> I'm not seeing enough movement. Chris was in the big bed in Diddy's house. I was, and I saw how you don't treat people. And that's why I would be a great president. Please consider voting Goon Edge 2024. Goon and Edge 2024 on the ballots. Thank you. You j wh huh? But of course, this got Twitter a little curious. People started digging deeper into Ava's older tweets because some of them were actually interacting with Shadman directly. There was one where people added Shadman to draw an interesting image of Caillou. You know, the I'm just a kid who's four each day I learn some more guy. Yeah. Uh, ah, uh, there's a snippet from Adra. How is this guy not in jail? This is the real question. Fox's video, and I'm gonna let him describe it because he does it better than I could because I might throw up. On January 17th, 2018, a person tweeted saying, Remember this growing up? Me too. Check it out at Chadbase. Featuring a photo of the four-year-old cartoon character Caillou with his mother. Obviously, we know Chadbase is a website with very disgusting content involving children and comic book characters. And the tweet clearly referenced that. But instead of opposing it, Chris- He got kicked from art school? Oh. Oh, it's art school. Chris, that's like asking chat how most of us aren't in jail. What? Joined in what? and replied, help, I need an adult. <gasps> you need you need to be interested in adults? What do you mean you need an adult? There was also Some Shadman art of Maber and Maber and Dip I'm VP Edge and I do not agree with Shadman. Chris, you didn't message me. I'm sorry, go. If it makes you feel any better, I probably got like 20 messages that I've been building up that I haven't responded to either. So yeah. <laughs> Mabel and Dipper from Gravity Falls. I'll get there though. Yo, Josh, sleep well. I love you, King. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for being a real one. Have an amazing day tomorrow, bro. Good luck uh, getting uh, your Xanax. I never reply. Hey, listen, I'm working on it, okay? Who are, I believe, like 12 or 13-year-olds, and they're kissing and really appreciating each other's presence. And as Adrock says so elegantly, Avery replied, they're twins, so at this point, it's just mad right? Yeah. Um, 
there's, of course, other tweets as well that get even worse. Um, <laughs> I'm dying. There was one she tweeted that says, Nothing gets my knob a cranking like some Diana Wood. This is not the time to be subscribing. If I'm to continue down this rabbit hole, let's let's show the this one. Uh, that bitch look good for a f um, ew, ew. die question mark. There's also various other just like dumbass edgy tweets. Like she posted a, a few years ago saying when you're hitting it from behind and she says Hitler did nothing wrong. Nut. What? <laughs> Are you 12? Are you? Yeah, that is some like, that is some middle schooler humor. I'm not going to lie. That is absolutely middle schooler humor. Act your age. Maybe you'll start getting interested in your own age too. Oh my God. But I think the craziest part of this entire higher revelation of Ava's interactions with Shadman is that EDP was the first person to come forward about this. In 2023, this video was posted. Where I'm getting the whole child shit at Oh, is okay, thanks. Thank good good way to start that. Monetization gone. Is Chris Tyson is friends with somebody named I think his name is Shadman, Chadman, whatever the fuck his name is. And um Chris Tyson and Chadman, Shadman, excuse me, they're into Lollycon. And if you guys don't know what Lollycon is, Lollycon is basically basically It's crazy the dude that sends poop pics um is really like having to call this out. This dude literally was like, oh damn, you're 14. Oh damn, you want to get freaky with me? Yo, you want to see a photo of my shit though? I'm not going to let him explain it because EDP has the most grotesque ways of explaining everything. And you already know Lollicon is essentially when there is people who- Oh, she's 2,000 years old. Appear to look like children in NSFW situations. Appear to look like children. And they're drawings, so they're not real. Which means that if you're into it, I would argue to check your hard drive. But imagine getting yes. called out by, of all people, yes. EDP-445 for being into Lolly. That's like the Joker calling out the Unabomber for being a terrorist. <laughs> the pot's calling the kettle black here. <laughs> now it's time to transition into the real world for some Yo. actual real world implications for some interactions that Ava's had with some people in the past. There was a video- I'm not gonna lie, me and my grown-ass friends send each other poop pics? Yeah. Yo. Uh, listen. That's- That's a slay. Okay? It's a sleigh. EDP sending it to the 14-year-old, though? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Video posted that literally not enough people are talking about from Prism42 about what? how Chris Tyson, this is the title, talked inappropriately with a 13-year-old. Oh. Is that so? Now, this one, again, he's going to have to explain this. So, this guy is super young, right? He's been talking to him since he was super young, 13 years old. So... Why is it that not only are you DMing this guy on Twitter, you're Snapchatting this guy, you're talking one-on-one -on -one in a voice chat with this guy, but the kind of Snapchats that, you, that you're sending, this is the Snapchat that you sent. He said, I get weird snap from Chris, and it's a picture of him making a weird face next to an American flag, and it says, coming for America. Now, you might think that, oh man, this must be some weird uh, 4th of July joke. Nope, it's not 4th of July. You can clearly see the date right there. This guy would have been like uh, 15 at this point. And uh, why are you sending a 15 year old a message saying coming for America? Why are you DMing a 15 year old anyways on Snapchat? Why are you doing that? Which is a really good question. Why are you doing that, Ava? What is going on? The second that an adult starts interacting with anyone under the age of 18 on Snapchat, uh-uh. It's Jover. That yeah, it. yeah, there you're Jover, no buddy. There is no reason for you to be interacting on Snapchat, of all things. I didn't even know people still used that app. Like, none of the things that Ava is saying are necessarily evil. Ava isn't going, like, take your pants off. It's more just like, haha, pee-pee-poo-poo cum joke with someone who happens to be under the age. Which is a horrible look, and honestly, I think at the root of it all, I'm gonna just go up with a hopeful theory, it's just because Ava is excruciatingly immature. We've kind of picked this up from the tweet so far. Yeah. But that doesn't make it okay. That does yeah. not make it okay in the slightest. And the interactions with Shadman, the pretty hot for a four-year-old tweet, guillotine, guillotine, exclamation yeah. point. But luckily, this is all just happening online. There's nothing going on in the real world. They never actually saw each other in real life. Right? No. Right? No. No. Right? Here is the picture of them meeting up together. No! I'm gonna censor his face. And as you can see right there... I don't, I don't even... I'm be honest, I don't even... 
I'm not even a fan of like Ava or anything like that. So this isn't that serious. This isn't like Cody Co. recently where I was like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do when I eat my lunch now, huh? AKA dinner, okay? Because my sleep schedule messed up. What am I supposed to do when I'm waiting to start stream and I need to watch some funny content? I can't watch a Cody Co. video, you know? Like, damn, bro, this sucks. This, I don't. You know, it's not really hitting me. I mean, it's going to be lame because it's going to be more people that are like, um, it's because, um, Chris transitioned into Ava and, you know, some transphobic, like, bullshit. Like, that's probably going to, like, be like, damn, bro, but, you know, dude, the dude on the left dev looks like a PDF. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> this dude, this random dude right here just catching a stray. <laughs> Yo. There, here's Carl right there. There's Chris Tyson right there. Chris yeah, Goofy, I feel that. I used to watch him back before he like got like super huge. Like back when he was like sub like five million subs. I was like, okay, I mean this guy, I understand. Like, okay, I'm with it. And I do think he makes really like highly entertaining videos, but it's I don't like watch Mr. Beast like super like consistently. Like I probably watch maybe one of his videos every like three months. Chris Tyson was talking to this guy since he was 13. Chris Tyson was in college. And look, I get having younger people in a friend group. I've seen male friend groups range from like 40 year olds to like 14 year olds all in one big group that are hanging out together. But with that in mind, you can't just be talking with a child. And that's a child, like not like a like almost adult. That's a kid with about come. You should yeah. be talking about any fluids coming yeah. out of your body. It, it Maybe, I will grant you, if you have the like humor of a seven-year-old, poop and pee, keep it there, nothing else, no more body talk. But at least they're not going anywhere private, you know? They're sticking around as a group. It could essentially be chalked up as just a fan meetup, right? Right? I've done this bit already. It's wrong. Check this clip. The moment he was able to drive, he takes a camper van out in the middle of the woods, which, by the way, very secluded area. Let me talk about that. What? Any time that someone is taking a camper van somewhere, bringing it out in the desert or the middle of the woods, it, it's very unnecessary because there's RV parks, there's the Walmart parking lot, there's plenty of areas you can go instead of going to a place that's very unfamiliar to you to camp out there, especially in a secluded area. Dude. Ava, what are you cooking? Is it crack or probably meth? The last person to go out in an RV to a secluded area was Walter Hardwell White. <laughs> and he was committing crimes. I like that I essentially just created a narrative that Walter Hardwell White was the last person in history to use an RV in a secluded area. I <laughs> Please keep in mind that's a joke. But also, going out in private with a young kid as an adult, there's no good way to wrap that gift. And I want to give credit where credit is due. Thank you, Brion, for dropping that video to me. Literally no one is talking about it, and I think it's extremely important to include, because people are getting on Ava for the lolly tweets, and the tweets interacting with Shadman. But this is a real kid, and potentially a real victim. Although, I'm going to hope not. Oh, I'm going to hope this isn't yeah, some real victim yeah. situation. I'm going to pray that this was just a situation where Ava Tyson is excruciatingly immature, and at, just does not think before speaking yeah. at all, ever. I'm going to hope that it isn't something that went farther than that, but the chance is there and that is horrifying and this brings us to one more thing that no. i think literally no one has touched on so far i don't watch every single video that comes out about this but i've never seen anyone talk about a potential 11 year old wrapped up in all of this what? there was a tweet that was dropped by tyrone the birth control god dang it i just flip and put my flipping uh controller i don't know what the fuck that means but he said tinfoil tyrone crackbot coincidences about chris tyson and talks about the thing we talked about before but then brings up Tyson Boy 34, an old account that says some weird shit. I mean, like, in North Carolina, the rule if a, is if the minor is 16 or 17, then the other person has to be five years within the age. Why are you so... Why? I hate, I hate, I hate when people are so obsessed with rule of age of consent. Yeah. Shit. Like, oh, actually, uh, hypothetically, it's allowed in New Jersey, okay? Why don't you just talk to people your own age, you fucking freak? Like, imagine yeah. being so socially inept that the only people that you can riz up are people that are so much younger than you. That's called being immature. It's called prison time, potentially. And this Tyson Boy 34 character wasn't initially linked to Ava. We didn't know who this was, but then there was a tweet posted by Ava about saying, like, the old me was a slur too. And it's from an account called Tyson Boy 34, which links up. That name sounds quite familiar. Which then continues to get even exponentially worse because there was a clip that came out from a YouTuber who was 11 years old named LP Corbis talking about her being on vacation. The place I'm at has ass internet. Some of you may know that. 
that I'm in Corsau currently, and the place we're staying has just absolutely ass internet. So, the clip and what she says is not important, but the gameplay playing behind her is. See, someone with the eyes of a goddamn eagle noticed that the person playing behind her isn't her Call of Duty account. It actually is an account named TysonBoy34. No. Which sounds quite familiar, I would argue. And at the time of that recording going down, Ava would have been 19 years old, and the girl in the video would have been 11. This Call of Duty gameplay, to anyone's knowledge, and my knowledge included, isn't anywhere else on YouTube. This isn't something she just stole to put in the background of her footage. So, how did she get it? Where did she get it from? No. Was she talking to Ava at the time? It's all a massive crackpot theory that honestly could be nothing. It could be that she just found the footage somewhere and was like, huh, why not? Let me just put that in the back of my commentary. But the fact that that was brought to her and she has it and it supposedly isn't anywhere else is really concerning because usually YouTubers wouldn't just go and find the nearest Call of Duty gameplay back then and just put it behind them. They would put their own yeah. gameplay, like yeah. Yuffie doing Surf or something. Overall, yeah. though, I really hope nothing bad actually happened. I, I Like, a lot of these different theories that we have put together are all nothing solid. The only thing solid is the Shadman tweets, which in and of themselves makes it so Ava shouldn't have a career. Like, the hot four-year-old. <laughs> yeah, hit be hit with a meteor, please. But I'm glad I was able to talk about this and inform you guys. Of course, I want to hear your thoughts on this in the comments down below, but I am horrified to read these comments. The internet has been blowing up because of this due to the fact that Ava Chris Tyson is trans. What was, what was the slur? Uh, the yeah, slur. You have to go find laws to justify your actions. It's so odd. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Let me go back here. Sorry, I was distracted. To read these comments. The internet has been blowing up because of this due to the fact that Ava Chris Tyson is trans. So people have been going from turning this into an issue about a horrible person to an issue about trans people as a whole. Yeah. Which is crazy. Are you fucking stupid? Have you not seen every expose that's happened this year? I'm pretty sure this is the first time it's not been a straight dude. I think people have a horrible habit of grouping entire populations of people into a single mind. Mindset. He's got a great point! He's got a great point! When in reality, there are so many different, vastly unique and individual people. And so keep that in mind when you're going about this. This is a situation of a really immature and horrible famous person, just like the rest of them. This is a situation where someone is abusing their power and has been caught doing it. This shit unfortunately happens all the time from every type of person from every walk of life, and it's something that everyone needs to crack down on as soon and often as possible. But for now, I'm gonna be getting out of here. Thank you, Sammy, for dropping this in my video ideas channel, and thank you, Brion, for giving me the video that I was able to use in the latter half of the video. I appreciate you guys being here. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you're new, and of course, as I said, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. But keep it civil. Be chill. I'm trying to create a good community here. I was scared to make this video because I knew it would garner some negative attention. I just wanted to talk about this because it was someone being a bad person. But for now, thank you for being here, and as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, good night, and just catch those predators. Get them off the internet, dude. They do not deserve power. Oh, didn't mean to do that, my bad. Um, holy flip, what is this? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, this was a rough video to make because I had to leave for work, so sorry about the bare bones editing. Thanks for watching, gang. Don't forget to subscribe to avoid that incoming meteor. That's real. Oh, I stay. Oh, no, dude. Dear Lord, you have like 50 tabs? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's bad. Have a good day. It's okay. You're still my main pickle? What the? The room looks like it's been ripped out of a fever dream. Yo, that's real. Those guys who said Mr. Beast needs to fire Chris either had a vision or are just transphobic. Transphobes are gonna whinge over this so much? What? Oh, yeah. Twitter is a cesspool right now. Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. 50% of people going, of course. 50% of people knowing that Chris being near crazy shed isn't related to being trans. Yeah. Mr. Beast and his gang can't catch a break. Remember, trust no one. The world is evil. Take care of yourself. What do, what do they have to say about it? For real, I wonder how Jimmy is going to respond. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. It might be It might be one of those situations where Mr. Beast just doesn't, you know? Mr. Beast just doesn't. Maybe Ava just isn't, like, connected anymore. Maybe Mr. Beast is like, hey, bro. Yeah. The age laws were made to protect minors who happen to age past 18 when their partner doesn't not creepy adults who want to mess with kids absolutely <gasps> darkoon what's up bro as a trans woman it is incredibly sad to see one of our people allegedly turn to the dark side i think this may be 
the second comment I made on this channel relating to the fact that I'm trans and also a woman, and actually I'm not going to stop now because it's funny. I'm honestly so glad my comment section has been so level-headed about this so far. I've only seen like two hateful comments on out of the hundred some that have been dropped. Yo, that's that's good, dude. So many trans folks are gonna use this as an example for a while, which sucks. When a vast majority of people expose this uh, PDF files are very much not trans. Stay strong. Yeah, absolutely, dude. I mean, here's the thing. It's going to turn into, like, a, a cesspool of this, which is lame. But at the end of the day, you know, that's... I feel like empathetic people are going to realize that this isn't, like, actually a thing. You know? Where it's, like, even, a like, like the... This is a, a very small... There is a very small group of people in you know, the trans community that is, like, problematic like this, right? There have been so many fucking problematic people outed that are cis white male men, you know? C cis white males? Yeah. Um. So, like, dude, everybody's got that one shitter in their... Er, uh, not one shitter, sorry. They're that, like, one to, like, probably, like, 5% of every community that is just absolute shitters, absolutely some of the worst people, the loud ma majority a lot of times, too. So, fuck it, dude. Don't let this uh, change your actual interaction with human beings or um, your...